Hello and welcome to JC News. Today we will be speaking to Simon Carston, Director of Sustainability and Energy for WSP. Simon, we use so much water here, but we live in a desert. Where does it all come from? I suppose it comes from two main places. Here in Dubai, in the city where we live, virtually all the water that we use comes from the sea. And they pump it out from the sea um, into the power stations at Jebel Ali. And effectively what they do is they boil the water off the seawater, leave the salt behind, and then that becomes the water that they pump How round the How do we Dubai. manage to use that much water? But the most, the biggest water user in Dubai is still for agriculture. So 80 or 90% of all the water that's used in Dubai is for growing things. It's for the date farms and other farms that exist in, in Dubai. I think the other area which, not just in Dubai, but around the world, a lot of people don't realise and appreciate is the amount of water that we effectively import into the country. It's what, what's called virtual water. So for example, that t-shirt that, that you're wearing, um, it's made of cotton. It probably, to grow the amount of cotton that's made that t-shirt, took about two tonnes of water. What effect does this have on the environment? One of the impacts and the implications there is if we continue to use that amount of water, it will just run out. One of the big impacts is we talked about the fact that you basically boil seawater. The, the fresh water comes and we use it, but the salt has to go somewhere, and that actually goes back into the sea, it goes back into the Gulf. Mm. But because the Gulf is a very shallow and uh, an enclosed sea with just a very narrow um, entrance and exit, that desalination process is building up the salt levels in the sea all the time, which is making it more and more difficult for the wildlife in the sea to actually survive and tolerate those levels. Is it by dealing with this and its environmental We're consequences? We're planning to build um, nuclear power stations in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. There's plans okay. for four nuclear power stations. And there's a lot of links between the use of energy and the use of water um, in Dubai and in Abu Dhabi um, because they use the power plants that are generating energy and they use some of that energy to desalinate the water that then becomes the fresh water that we drink. But yes, a big part of the nuclear power stations is to try to reduce the carbon footprint and carbon impact and to make sure there's some different sources of energy supply so we're not just reliant on one type of energy. Thank you, Simon. OK, that's all for today, but be sure to tune in next week when we have Kelly-Ann join to the studio to talk about is it safe for you and I to go to Kenya?